Yo, brothers and sisters, what is up? I pray that you are all well and blessed. I pray that you are uh, resting in the grace of God. Hallelujah. I just wanted to get on here really quick and encourage you guys and just let you know, yo, mm, 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 mm. We, <laughs> we serve the living God. We are children of the Most High, of the God. <laughs> capital T H E, capital G O D, the God, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. We are children of the Most High. Hallelujah. And we can never be plucked from His hand the moment that we believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. That is how you become a child of God. That is how you are saved. That is how you are free from condemnation. That is how you are able to finally rest. Your soul finds rest in the hands of Jesus Christ under His easy yoke. We find rest in Him. Hallelujah. And the fact that He... The Son of God, God the Son, went to the cross and paid the debt for our sins. The judgment that was supposed to be passed to us, which is death, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus. The, the righteous judgment that was supposed to be for us, which was death. God sent, God loved us so much that he sent his only begotten Son down here to taste death for all of us, for that judgment to be passed upon him, for Jesus Christ to be made sin on our behalf so that we could be free, so that we could become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, so that we could be children of God, so that we could be saved by our faith in what Jesus Christ did for us. Hallelujah. Is that not the greatest news ever? We can all have good news. Oh, yo, I got a promotion. I got a, I got a job. Uh, my 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 brother's wife had a baby um whatever <laughs> it could be i got a new car it could be this it could be that um someone complimented me at work i got good news now brothers and sisters what is the best news what is the greatest news the news at which there is no better news there is no news that can surpass this news and that news is that jesus christ shed his perfect innocent blood as the sacrifice once and for all, forever. And now we who believe in what he did for us, that he went to that cross and shed his perfect innocent blood for us on our behalf, all of us who believe in his death and resurrection, we are saved, sealed, until the day of redemption. We are children of God for all eternity, and we will, and very soon, Oh, hallelujah, be in the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If you're having a hard time finding rest or finding peace, if you're having a hard time feeling like you're not free from condemnation or that you need to do more things in order for God to bless you or that you need to do more things in order to feel the grace of God or that you need to this or that, whatever, or you feel like you're just not being supplied every day, our daily bread, the daily grace that God gives us, his daily mercies and loving kindness. If you're feeling a lack in any way, I encourage you right now, have faith. Just believe that you have it. Believe, believe, believe. We are supplied by faith and faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The more we just agree with the word, of the, the word of God, the more we have faith, the more we rest and believe what God has said about us, what God has spoken to us in His Son, Jesus Christ, and the fact that there is no requirement upon us. There is no demand upon us. The more we just believe that, and know that God's gonna work it out for our good no matter what it is. Know that he is leading us and guiding us and know that our salvation, big S salvation, is in the blood of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, in the hands of Jesus, because he obtained it for us on our behalf. And little S salvation, the salvation from all these little things, our trials and tribulation, the persecution, the little S salvation, which is not a unborn or born again salvific issue, it's a the supplying, the deliverance, 
the, the learning and the growing and the knowledge of him, this little as salvation that we experience every day through our trials and tribulations and persecutions, like I said, that also comes by faith. That also comes by just believing and resting and waiting. At least this is for me and my personal experience, and this is what I have seen time and time again. And my wife and I were just talking about it yesterday um, and how this season that we're in, the Lord is really teaching both of us how to rest. We have both come from backgrounds in which our spiritual growth was in our own hands. The new age, the occult, witchcraft, um, <laughs> magic, yoga, meditation, all that garbage that is just you have to work to attain enlightenment. You have to work, you have to work, you have to work. And if you're not doing something, you're wasting your time right? And there's a best way, quote unquote, to use your time. And there's a best this and a best that. And if you're doing not the best, well, then you're condemned, right? So we come from that. And in this season, especially the last month, oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. He has been teaching my wife and I, and I pray that this message encourages some of you out there to rest. And I say that because my wife and I, I pre I'm, I'm preaching the word to myself um, pretty often. I have to. She's been learning how to do that. And we have been in a season of just learning how to in, enjoy where we're at, enjoy each other's company, enjoy the presence of God just by having faith and waiting and believing and understanding, having our minds shifted from work to faith from working to be blessed, working for spiritual growth, to just waiting and trusting in God that he's in control because Jesus Christ is our shepherd. He will lead us into the good land. We are not our own shepherd. We will not lead ourselves there by our works. Jesus Christ will lead us there and the only way to get there is by believing in the blood, hallelujah. And her and I were talking yesterday while we were out walking and we just started laughing and we were just like, <laughs> you know, these last couple of weeks, we like, we haven't really been doing much internally there's been a lot of there's been a lot of deliverance and healing but if you looked at the outside world you realize like honey talking to my wife we have not been doing anything <laughs> yet we've been going through such a rich season of growth and supply by the lord because we have just been resting and trusting in the lord Blessed are those who wait patiently on the, on the Lord. Those who wait patiently on the Lord will have their strength renewed. And we've just been trusting and the best that we can. Of course, we, we, we trip up here and there and we have hiccups as we all do. But faithful is God, hallelujah, to finish the work that he created, finish the work that he started, for he is the author and finisher of our faith. We've just been in this season of being supplied by resting and having faith and the Lord is breaking down the strongholds of the enemy telling us, this is the enemy saying, you're in control of your spiritual growth. You've got to go read the Bible to learn. You've got to go read the Bible to grow. If you're not praying, you're not being blessed. If you're not praying, you're not protected. So do you see how the, the, enemy, the enemy will use the word and he will preach a doctrine of demons to you if you're not truly resting in the grace of God? Your amount of prayer or Bible reading or going to the church or going to church or tithing or feeding the homeless will not supply you with the Spirit. None of that will give you more rewards if you're doing that thinking that if you do it, you will be rewarded. Why? Because that is in the flesh. That's a, that's, a, that's a mindset of debt. That's a mind of, I'm working for God. Now he's going to reward me. And this is something that I've been going through a lot. Like I said, both my wife and I, but in terms of working to be rewarded, she's been going through the resting and let, allowing Christ to be in charge of her spiritual growth. And I've been learning that I don't have to work, 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 and do a lot of things in order to be blessed by God because we are already hallelujah and the more that we believe that and the more we rest in the finished work of Jesus the more that we see that the more that God reveals his son to us and the more that God speaks to us in his son as it says in Hebrews so have faith I pray that that bless someone I don't really know why I went into all of that detail I just felt really encouraged by that as I'm just reflecting on that these last couple of weeks or about a month and seeing the change in healing in both of our hearts, our minds, as well as in um, 
just our lives in general. So we're so very thankful. Um, again, guys, I, I pray for all of y'all. This channel family is prayed for. I pray for your peace, for your protection, for your provision, for your joy and the love of God. All of this to be loosed over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that he would make his son Jesus Christ so alive and so real to us. I pray that y'all would rest in the finished work of Jesus Christ and you would you would see the grace of God which is here and now and is always available to us by faith by believing we don't got to do anything to rest in the grace of God we didn't earn it to begin with so we can't earn it after we're saved we're just his children that he loves and he provides us everything that we need and it's all by grace every gift every blessing every lesson it's all by grace hallelujah all right I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. I love y'all. God bless. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, I pray this. And again, let his peace overwhelm you. His peace that passes all understanding be yours. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right. God bless y'all. Take care.